Former Walmart executive and billionaire entrepreneur Mark Lohr grew up wanting to be a farmer. He reveled at the idea of building something from nothing. Perhaps unsurprisingly then, he wants to build a city, not just any city, but an entirely sustainable city in a waterless desert that is home to 5 million people. This city, Tolosa, would be a modern day, fully self-sustaining city and is envisioned as the most open, the most fair, and the most inclusive city in the world. Join us as we explore Mark Lore's sustainable city, Tolosa, and dig into how and why he intends on constructing it and some of the potential challenges it may face. Former president and CEO of Walmart's e-commerce division, Mark Lohr, is the brain behind the city of Tolosa. He gained his wealth at both Walmart and a series of very successful business ventures. He was the CEO and co-founder of Diapers.com, as well as CEO and co-founder of Jet.com, selling Jet.com to Walmart for $3.3 billion in 2016 and Diapers.com to Amazon for $545 million in 2010. Mark also co-owns the NBA's Minnesota Timberwolves and the WNBA's Minnesota Lynx. Despite his many successful business ventures, Lore has a grander vision in mind and wants to build a giant city he's calling Telosa, whose name comes from the ancient Greek word telos. Lore explains, Telos means the highest purpose. It was a term coined by Aristotle. It's about individuals in society coming together to reach their fullest potential. Explicitly rejecting the idea that Tolosa will be a utopian, idealistic city, Lore insists that the plan to build Tolosa is grounded in reality and what is possible. And what is the mission? Because if you started with people at the center, you immediately would think, okay, what's the mission and what are the values? The mission of Tolosa is to create a more equitable and sustainable future. That's our North Star, and that'll never change. And he's adamant that he's not pursuing this to make money. He said, I'm doing this because of what it can mean for others and the future. If this entire attempt doesn't work, then hopefully there are things to learn from it, and it will inspire others to take their shot. Spoken like a true trailblazer. Inspired by the 19th century book Progress and Poverty by Henry George, Laura imagined the city of Tolosa. The city will be built somewhere in the water-scarce American desert, with potential locations of Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Arizona, Texas, and the Appalachian region being identified. Residents of Tolosa will have equal access to healthcare, excellent schools, and safe environments, regardless of income. But there's a catch. To live there, people will have to meet various diversity and inclusion criteria. Lore and his team will select the initial residents based on diversity and inclusion, but Lore has pledged that the future city will be governed by a transparent participatory democracy and led by a council and city manager. The $500 billion metropolis, tab the new city in America, will begin building once properly funded, according to Lore. But despite his immense wealth, this isn't something he can fund on his own. Lore envisions that the city's land will be purchased by investors and philanthropists, then donated to a community endowment. While the land will be owned by the community endowment, people will be able to build, buy, and sell their own homes. This type of concept is already on display in Singapore, where the government owns 90% of the land and where proceeds from the land are reinvested back into the country. The initial goal is to have 50,000 residents by 2030, with additional residents moving in as construction continues thereafter. In order to help draw residents to the city, a venture capital fund controlled by Lore would make investments in startups that relocate to the city. Lore has commented in a promotional video that the mission of Tolosa is to create a more equitable and sustainable future, with the ultimate plan to make it the most inclusive city in the world. We are going to be the most open, the most fair, and the most inclusive city in the world. Helping turn Lore's dream into a reality is the Bjarke Ingels Group, or BIG. The firm, which has designed two Google campuses and Toyota's Woven City, has been tasked with creating an urban hub that is open, fair, and inclusive, said Bjarke. Tolosa, in my mind, sort of embodies the kind of social and environmental care of a kind of Scandinavian culture and the kind of freedom and opportunity of a more American culture. 
Telosa will feature wide open streets that prioritize pedestrians and cyclists, but still offer room for autonomous vehicles in the form of shuttles and various forms of autonomous mass transit. It will be replete with ample public spaces that reflect the green ethos. There will also be facilities to recycle water and process renewable energy to promote long-term sustainability. And at the center of Telosa will stand the city's centerpiece, the Equitism Tower, which will act as both a beacon for the city and a meeting place for its residents. Set in Telosa's Central Park, the tower is forecast to have a photovoltaic roof, elevated water storage, and aeroponic farms, which would enable the tower to share and distribute all it produces. Lore's mission statement for Telosa is to create a more equitable and sustainable future that can become a blueprint of future generations. That's backed by a 150,000 acre design proposal with eco-friendly architecture, sustainable energy production, and a drought resistant water system, according to the Telosa website. At Telosa, they believe they have a chance to provide a new model for society that offers people a higher quality of life and greater opportunity. Lore has yet to outline how he'd get the money to fund Telosa and has not yet acquired any land or water rights both of which are major precursors to persuading people to leave real cities for this hypothetical one. Nor has he figured out how it would operate or persuaded any government officials to grant it the power to function. Meanwhile, however, a team of 50 volunteers and staff called the Junto Group that includes architects, economists, engineers, climate experts, historians, and designers are helping create the screening criteria for potential residents. According to Telosa's website, the city will be aimed at what they're calling equitism. Equitism is a new economic model based on the premise that citizens should have a stake in the land. As the city does better, so do the residents. It retains capitalism, but with an additional funding mechanism for enhanced service throughout the city. With equitism, Lore hopes to create a higher level of social services for its residents without the additional burdens on taxpayers. We're taking a stab at what we call equitism here. What if you can pay the same taxes that you pay today, but get the best social services of any country in the world? That's equitism. Laura hopes to have 50,000 residents spread across 1,500 acres move to the city by 2030, an initial phase which will cost an estimated $25 billion. I don't want to be the ruler of the city. This is more of a public service, Laura told USA Today. I'm wanting to give it a place to grow and flourish. It's not meant to be a private city. It's meant to be a city for everyone, with an innovative way we live. Since Lore is looking at mostly desert locations, there is likely to be insufficient water supply. Lore has told USA Today that in order for the city to work then, it will have to use 80% less water per person. Of course, there are many detractors to this proposed city. They contend that cities of this type and these economic models rarely work. But this hasn't stopped other wealthy individuals from envisioning similar cities. Microsoft founder Bill Gates announced in 2017 plans to build a smart city outside of Phoenix on 2,800 acres, and millionaire Jeffrey Burns bought 67,000 acres in Nevada for a smart city. Toyota's City of the Future, the Woven City, broke ground in Japan in February 2021. And while Telosa is still more of a dream than reality, Lore is ever so close to fulfilling that childhood dream of creating something out of nothing. Do you think a city like Telosa is something that is achievable in the near future? Would you want to live in a place like Telosa? Let us know what you think in the comments below. We'll see you guys in the next one.